Right, so this past week I've been practicing perspective, or more like um, experimenting with perspective. Um, I wanted to figure out some things that usually aren't covered in books or they're glossed over and not covered to my satisfaction. Um, there are a few uh, sources and videos online that kind of try to explain these things, um, but some of them can be confusing or um, they're just uh, too much, like you have to measure way too much um, to get what you want, so they're not practical. Um, these aren't really all that practical either, uh, but they are useful if you want to check um, what you drew by sight. So um, in the end, you're going to end up drawing uh, most of the stuff just uh, by feeling um, where the edge should be. But it's nice to have something that's accurate to compare to. And um, most of these drawings are useless. Uh, don't pay attention to them. I'm just um, going through all the stuff I've tried. Um, basically, I'm just using uh, basic knowledge. One, two, three point perspective. How to divide um, a line in half. And how to and how uh, ellipses and circles um, look in perspective and the rest is just kind of uh, logic uh, by observing patterns that form when you have like repeated shapes and there's three things I wanted to cover so I'm going to split the video in three just so that they're easier to find uh, the first is um, how to make a perfect square so here I've drawn a circle and this is our cone of vision and I'm going to draw the horizon line in and mark the center. So first I'm going to show you how to do it in one point perspective. So basically you choose your width and then you go backwards to that middle point. That's our vanishing point in one point perspective. And if you were to look at a tile floor that's in one point perspective, you'll notice that all the diagonals go off into the distance. And these kind of form um, invisible vanishing points. Um, that you can use to accurately draw that square. So you can see me, I'm dragging it to the corner. You, you only really need one, but you can have two uh, if it makes things easier. And then you just drag it back, uh, drag it back to that real vanishing point and just repeat that. And you get a square uh, tile grid that's accurate. Now, um, you could put the, the diagonals vanishing point wherever you want. It just kind of changes the lens of the camera. Um, this is far more noticeable when I do the two-point perspective. Now, if you're going to make a grid just to have, I suggest you go, um, you mark them all on one side, like I, I did here. So to one side of, of the square you started on. Uh, so then when you grab one of the lines in the back, like I'm doing here, um, you get a bunch more points on the other side, and you don't have to be dragging the diagonal vanishing point all the time. So as you can see here, that makes it way easier. And the more lines I go into the back, uh, the more uh, cross crosses I get. Then I can just complete the floor um, by dragging these across. Now, before I go on to two point, I want to show you real quick um, what would happen if you were to shrink uh, the point inwards. So, um, I'm just going to take the same length um, so you can see this. Now, I'm going to draw this out. And the reason this might look a bit more deformed is because, as you notice, when I draw the circle, it's outside the cone of vision. Here, I'm enlarging it just to show you what it looks like compared to the other drawing and if I continue the lines backwards you'll notice that they're also the same size as the ones we drew before so all that's happening is that you're changing where you're drawing you're drawing um, more outside the cone of vision where you get more distortion so the closer to the horizon line you get less distortion um, outside the cone you get more distortion and um, you could draw with um, just these points and just get closer in uh, to get, uh, and you could draw a whole city. It's just that the canvas tends not to lend to that, and that's why we tend to put our vanishing points really, really far away.
Right, so now for two-point perspective, um, this is very similar, except um, it's kind of reversed. Um, so here we draw the edges of our square, and this doesn't determine any sort of width, so we have to choose it. And there's kind of two ways to, to do this. Um, one way is really easy, and that is just to draw a line um, directly across. It forms the diagonal of the square. And now we know from that point backwards that that's a square. So that's one way. Um, but there's also another way which I like, and that's to use the point in the middle. So if you use the point in the middle and you draw it to the corner, you get the same effect. Um, use that cross. Um, and I like this. Uh, I like kind of using both. Um, it just makes things quicker. Also, it's not that hard to make that point right in the middle. And here I'll just continue this uh, to make a grid. And again, the two points are what govern uh, the angle of the lens. So I'll just let this finish. Uh, so in the next video, I'm going to cover uh, perfect cubes, or at least as perfect as I could get them. Um, anyways, I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any comments, leave a question. I'll try to answer them. Um, some of the stuff can be a bit confusing, and I'm not quite sure why some of it works, but it does.